Yeah, that actually might be my first time. What's up, everyone? My name's Andrew. My channel is Family Fly Ties. Thanks for taking a moment to watch my channel. I'm currently fishing a creek in Utah. One I've only fished one time before. Had decent success. We'll see how today goes. Cheers to tight lines. Nice. What are we? Oh, that's right. I don't have my uh, net. That's a nice. Oh, on the scud. Yeah. Rainbow. On the scud. Nice little fish. Thought it'd be a cut, but it's a rainbow. Got to be kidding me. Another rainbow. Another rainbow. I didn't expect to be catching rainbows here. There we go. I did not expect to be catching rainbows here. There we go. So my first cut. We're all rainbows still. And what is he on? Oh, he's still. I might just put two. Uh, I might need to put two. You're not coming off. You got tagged by both, didn't you? Cut. He's on the same one. Good guy. No! Seriously? Nice. See, that's what I expected right here. Three fish right there. And that's kind of what I expected up above. That's a fish. That's another, see that's four fish right here. And that looks like another, another rainbow. Gosh. Okay, rainbows, can you let the cuts have a, a meal? I wanna see 
All right, guys, I can't complain about how the day's going. Started off really good, then it started to be a little bit slow. Um, I thought maybe I might only catch one fish, and then it turned on again. In my last video, or one of my last videos, a subscriber asked uh, that I share more uh, about my setup. So let's talk about that. I currently am fishing two nymphs, my Tailwater Titan, one in an olive, and one in a tan rainbow. And it's a tan rainbow that is just uh, doing very well. Um, the Tailwater Titan is a flashback waltz worm. So tie a waltz worm with some holographic natural quill. And that's what's really been killing it. That pattern has been doing very well for me. I'm currently fishing my hybrid Euro. So you can see that I have fly line. And at the end of my fly line, I have cider. Uh, that way, if I want to switch to an indicator, I can. If I want to do a dry fly on the end, dry dropper, I can. Right now, the tight line, the Euro nymphing, uh, siding is, is working the best. And so I'm continuing with that. And I use Cortland Tricolor uh, because I have a red and green deficiency. Um, and so the color here, the tri, allows me to see it much better. And so whereas I've tried some of the other siders, and if it's that green or light pink, I can't see it. So it disappears too much for me. So I've got to use the tricolor. But that's pretty much my setup and it's doing well. Cheers to tight lines. I see I'm not finding them in this. They're in the, the pools right now. The, at least the ones that I'm catching, right? Thing. Oh, well, I've been proven wrong before, and hopefully that's a proven wrong on a on a uh, uh, another rainbow. Another rainbow. I wish I would have brought my net. Forgot to bring my other net because I was still water today. And then decided to go. I'm even gonna get one out of it. Oh, that is one. It's a rainbow, too. Yep. Boy, what is with all these rainbows? Thanks for saying hello, bud. Yep. Is that my first cutthroat? That's different, and that is a cutthroat. My first cutthroat. Awesome. Hello, buddy. There we go. Nope, rainbow. Just a really light colored rainbow, I thought, because it was. This shocks me. Oh, no. No, no, no. There's one that I missed. I'm not going to probably get another hit from him. That sucked. 
there it goes. That was one I just missed. Yep, same area, no hit. Yep, no dink, that was definitely a fish that I just missed. Gosh darn it. There we go, that was a good one. Right in its face too, is what that was. Is it another rainbow? Yep, what is with all these rainbows? I thought there was supposed to be just pretty much cuts here. Yeah, just rainbows. Thank you for taking a moment to watch my video. Hope you enjoyed. If you do, please consider subscribing. It does help my channel. In the meantime, cheers to tight lines.